Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is Oxidation and Reduction Reactions. Friends, as you know, there are a number of types of reactions. Oxidation and Reduction Reactions are the types of reaction that we are about to study. We will also study about reactions wherein oxidation and reduction occurs simultaneously. Let us now begin with our topic, which is oxidation reaction. So, the word oxidation tells us that it means gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen. So, how do we define oxidation reactions? An oxidation reaction is the addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen. Let's understand this with the help of an activity. Heat a china dish containing about 1 gram copper powder. What do you observe? The surface of copper powder becomes coated with black copper oxide. Why has this black substance formed? During the reaction, there is an increase of oxygen in copper. Therefore, we can say that oxidation of copper has taken place in this reaction. And so, this reaction is an oxidation reaction. This is because oxygen is added to copper and copper oxide is formed. If hydrogen gas is passed over this heated material, CuO, what do you observe? You will observe the black coating on the surface turns brown. This is because the reverse reaction takes place and copper is obtained. There is a loss of oxygen in the copper oxide. In the other word, copper oxide is reduced. A reaction in which oxygen is reduced by a substance are called reduction reaction. If we look closely at this reaction, we will find that in this reaction, oxygen is getting depleted from copper oxide. Hence, it is reduced and oxygen is increasing in hydrogen. So, it is oxidized. Any reaction in which one reactant is oxidized and another reactant is reduced is called oxidation reduction or redox reaction. Let us now learn about the reduction reactions. Whenever a reaction results in an increase in hydrogen or loss of oxygen in a substance, such reactions are called reduction reaction. Friends, let us now understand oxidation and reduction in more detail through two examples. In this first reaction, hydrogen is increased in sodium. Hence, it is an example of reduction. In the second example, there is a decrease of oxygen in copper oxide and an increase of oxygen in hydrogen. Let us learn about reactions in which both oxidation and reduction are observed. As we saw in example 2, the reduction of oxygen from copper oxide that is reduction and increase of oxygen in hydrogen that is, oxidation is happening. In this way, oxidation and reduction are taking place in the same reaction. So students, what is the meaning of oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction? A chemical reaction in which oxidation and reduction take place simultaneously is called redox reaction. Friends, aren't these interesting reactions? 
See some other examples as well. In the first example, zinc oxide is reducing oxygen. Carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide. Hence, it is a redox reaction. In the second example, oxygen is reduced from MnO2 and HCl is oxidized to chlorine. Hence, it is also a redox reaction. In the third example, burn the magnesium ribbon in a bright flame. The white substance magnesium oxide is formed when magnesium is combusted. Is magnesium being oxidized or reduced in this reaction? Yes, because oxygen is increasing in magnesium, we can say that magnesium is oxidized. So friends, in this video, we studied oxidation, reduction and redox reactions.